Hello everybody. Uh, this is the most scariest thing I think I've ever done in a long time going live. And I'm trying to work out at the moment why I've got a mute button on the so I cannot on earth see what I'm doing. So let me just try and sort that. Anyway, whatever, that'll go, I'm sure. Um, I've been challenged to do my first Facebook Live. Hello, Camille. So exciting that you're here with me. I've been challenged to do my first Facebook Live and you know who you are, girls. So here I am, I'm doing it. And I'm, I'm just so excited and really nervous at the same time. Um, anyway, I was wanting to uh, tell you more about my story. Hello, Camille. Um, and just explain why I'm talking about my story now uh, after so many decades and why I've also created an online video course to help others go from victim to survivor. Um, I was, I, if, you, if you don't know me, um, I am a, a television executive producer and I'm just gonna try and get that light away so it's not a massive spot on my face. Um, I'm a television executive producer, but I was also a victim of domestic violence when I was much younger. Um, I married a guy who, I didn't fall in love with a violent guy, I just fell in love with a guy who happened to turn violent later. So, you know, I was a bit unlucky there, unlucky in love. Anyway, I, um, I did, and he almost killed me um, by strangling me. Um, I have written about the time he almost killed me in the feature article I did for the Daily Mail and in some of my posts that are on my website. Um, and it's it's easier for me to write about it um, than talk about it because it's one of those things when you've um, had something so traumatic like thinking that someone is going to kill you and you think you're going to die you know at their hands and you think that the last face you're ever going to see is the person you love whose eyes have gone black and cold and and they are you know trying to kill you in fact they're telling you to die you I won't say the word um, and so talking about it even what it's probably 30 years ago now I still find really hard because it's so visceral that fear that it can just oof, take me back in a in a second to that fear. I'm even welling up now. So I, I'm not going to talk about that in detail because that's really, really hard for me. But I will say that when I found the courage to um, flee and run and get out um, for my life, and I was seven months pregnant, huge belly. I was in a pair of shorts and a little singlet top. It was very hot summer and and I was, you know, obviously pregnant and I was bleeding all down my legs because he dragged me over um, glass to revive me from being unconscious, I imagine. Um, and I walked past two neighbours on two separate occasions, I walked past one neighbor and then the other, and, and they both turned away. They, they didn't even help me. And that wasn't the first time. I had many, many times where people just did not help me. And I think because it was so different back then, you know, when domestic violence back then was something that was swept under the carpet and nobody talked about. And even the police, you know, even though he was trying to kill me, he was telling me to die. He wasn't given um, an, a, a sentence for murder or attempted murder, it was just assault. Um, and he was charged with that, but that's all he got because back then it just wasn't taken seriously. So I'm really pleased now that it is being taken seriously. Um, I've been speaking a lot to the beautiful Rosie Batty, who if you're Australian, you'll know who she is, who's made domestic violence are very high profile, or if you're in the UK and know Laura Richards, who's done an incredible work with Paladin and making coercive control, emotional abuse, deemed a crime over there, the, the, the lobbying she's been doing, it's incredible. And so I feel now that because um, it's finally being recognized, domestic violence, now is the time for me to talk out and tell my story. 
and I thought it I thought that it had changed I thought great you know people are now talking about it. it's high profile and I thought that it had changed and it was different you know somebody I know a woman I've been talking to recently has just been to the same police station that I went to and she said there was the most incredible kick-ass cop a female who heads this awesome domestic violence unit and they have a whole unit there now and it's incredible and so I thought wow that's amazing it's changed so much but actually the truth is it hasn't sadly every week two women I know men are abused as well but two women are killed by their partners every week or ex-partners and you know that's just not good enough it's awful and I just want to read this um letter that this de detective from a Queensland Police Homicide Investigation Unit has come out with yesterday. And he basically says, I'm writing this a letter to appeal to each and every member of our community to consider how we can play a part to stop this. Too many times I've heard one partner tell me how sorry they are and that they didn't mean for their partner to die. It's too late. Too many times I've witnessed kids watch as one parent is taken, taken away in handcuffs while facing the reality of burying the other. Too often I hear friends and family say that they've observed signs of domestic violence, yet they didn't report it, they ignored it. And on and on he goes, you know, this is a cop who sees it every day, who's there after people are being killed. Um, and he ends by saying, domestic and family violence is a cycle that can be broken. That's why I'm speaking now. You know, it is a cycle that can be broken and there are too many people going through it now and going through what I went through and going through that horrendous fear. Not just what that incident I spoke about, but a lot of fear over many, many years that I went through. Um, and I guess, you know, one question people have asked me is, why now? Uh, another reason is I've over the years I've mentored a lot of young girls and and some men as well and they've always said to me wow you're so lucky you've got the most incredible high-powered successful career as a TV producer you've got the most incredible relationship with your husband who I'm with now yeah I do he's just so gorgeous I've been with him 30 years and he's my best friend and man it's like for chalk to cheese from that relationship to this one is just incredible so I have and and I've and they've all, I've always said to them I'm not lucky I've worked really hard to change my life it took me a lot of heartache many many years of heartache and a lot a lot of hard work to go from victim to survivor and then from survivor to staying strong and not going back into another abusive relationship and not um, going back to him or another abusive relationship and then from staying strong and really putting together those pieces of me as a broken down former battered wife back together and then forging an incredibly successful life and creating the life I really love and creating one that I know I'm never going to look back at now with regret. And I'm so, I'm so grateful for that. And I remember one of those girls um, said to me, God, you should write this down. You need to bottle this because just what you've told me has stopped me going for the bad boys. And now I've found the most gorgeous uh, boyfriend. And I've got the hat ready. You know who it is that I'm talking about. The hat is ready for the wedding. Uh, anyway, so I'm really excited to um, say that Apart from having now written my book, which I know people keep asking me, when is it coming out? It is coming soon, I promise. that It just takes a lot of work of editing and uh, redrafting manuscripts and stuff. I've just created my first online video course called Start With Me, um, Victim to Survivor. And it's basically... Uh, taking you on the exact journey that I went through, the exact steps I took to understand I was in an abusive relationship, to realise that actually the way I was loving him had become an unhealthy addiction for me, um, to 
know the way he was manipulating me into believing I deserved abuse and that I was even to blame for it and then how to step away and take my power back and that was the beginning of my journey to changing my life and and that's what this course will be about it's got four modules in it module one is looking at are you in an abusive relationship even if there's no violence a lot of women ask me that you know, when there's no violence, uh, am I even being abused? Um, I'm going to look at, does it feel right to you? What are the warning signs that tell you this is a relationship that's not good for you? And how to really listen to your gut. Module two is looking at how the cycle of abuse works, how narcissists control you, the tactics they use to silence you, and asking whether you're addicted to love. Module three is when we're really going to start with me and accept what you can't change, but change the things you can. How to step off the merry-go-round and not be manipulated by them. How to separate your head from your heart and ask, is this relationship really good enough for me? Then in module four, I'm going to look at how you assess your level of danger and really understand whether this relationship could turn fatal and whether it's actually time to relieve, leave the relationship and if so, how. So I'm really excited about this and that will be the first Victim to Survivor course that's going to, I'm launching really, really soon and then it will be followed up by other courses which will take you on the rest of my journey from Victim to Staying Strong, Staying Strong to Success Story and so on and so on. So I really hope that you can join me um, and that it will make a difference to your life. All I'd like to say in finishing up is just life's too short, you know. Don't waste your energy trying to control a narcissist. Don't just sit there waiting and hoping for them to change. Honestly, life's too short. Don't, don't look back on your life with regret. Don't waste another minute, another week, another month not doing everything that you can to really know that you are in a healthy relationship. I just know what my life's been like from an abusive one, a destructive one, and the pain and hell I went through in that to what my life is now, which is just incredible and I know that you can have that too so so don't waste another minute just start with me so if you want to know more about that then I will put a link to the start with me course in the comments below and if not I've got plenty of stuff that I'm writing about uh, that's thank you Anita hello it's gorgeous to see you here and thank you for my challenge of doing my first Facebook Live. So I'm nearly at the end, but I've, I've, I've almost done it. Um, as I was saying, you know, don't feel pressure to do my course. It might not be right for you. You might not re be ready for it. And, you know, I write about the same sort of stuff uh, uh, on my blog. I've got plenty of stuff. The course is really me holding your hand, going step by step. Hello, Shaz. You're here. Oh, my God, Shaz. You know, you are such a warrior. Another woman who is a survivor has really made a difference to um, her children's life and just turned her life around. I am so proud of you, Shaz. And the work you're doing to help other victims uh, is just awesome. And, you know, the more that we can all speak out, help each other, the better. So as I was saying before Shaz came on, um, I do have a lot of stuff on my blog. I write weekly there. I'm sharing stuff on this Facebook group. I've now got a YouTube channel that I'm putting Viv um, uh, videos up there. And um, yes, Camille, I have been told that I should share it all on Medium and that is something I definitely am going to do. I've just been spending so much time creating this online video course which has been oh my god what a steep learning curve that's been you'd think I would know how to do this I'm a television producer for god's sake I've been 
sitting next to editors my entire life editing videos suddenly I'm there having to press the buttons myself having to do the videos which is so scary because even though as a reporter I used to do live crosses and uh, uh, my reports from all over the world suddenly this is me talking about me and being really vulnerable and exposed and not many of my friends even know this story about me so I'm really really uh, opening myself up Thank you, Shaz, to say I look fabulous. This is the this is my little secret. See, when I do my videos and I put them on my YouTube channel and I put them in my course and stuff, I don't have my glasses on because I sort of get a bit vain and I think, oh, I look a lot nicer without my glasses on and you can see my blue eyes, which I sort of think maybe is my best feature because everything else is getting all wrinkly and, you know, the crepey turkey neck and stuff. I've still got the eyes. But unfortunately, uh, well, fortunately, when I shoot my videos and I'm putting, doing them to my camera, it's great that I can't see without my glasses because then it's all blurry and I don't get so nervous about doing them. But then I thought I won't be able to read your comments, so I have to have my glasses on. So thank you for your beautiful comments about how I look and all that. Anyway, I'm not going to go on because I've already gone on for, what, 15 minutes? Oh, my goodness me. Uh, anyway, I'm going to post this video, so if you came in halfway through, uh, please do go back to the beginning where I was telling my story. Um, for those of you that it might trigger, um, I don't go into it in that much depth, depth, and I explain why, because it is a bit of a trigger for myself. Um, Chaz, it's fine, I'm going to post it, and I'll repost it on your site, so you can see the full thing. But thank you for coming on here and supporting me live. Thank you, everybody, for supporting me on my blog. The, you know, the subscriber numbers are growing. People are sharing my posts. I'm getting the most beautiful messages of support. I'm getting emails from all over the world um, from people I've never met saying it's making a difference to them and uh, that, that my story is resonating with them. And, you know, sadly, that is the case. My story is so many other women's story and it, it breaks my heart. So please keep sharing, keep reading. I hope these posts are helpful. I'll keep making my videos and I am gonna launch this course in the next few weeks. Um, so if you feel that you want to, to take that step further and do the course and have me hold your your hand and go through that journey of how I went from victim to survivor, then I'd love to have you do that journey with me. Anyway, so much love and uh, thank you again because the support and, and encouragement is incredible and it's what keeps me going. All right, love to you all and I'll see you soon. Now I've just got to work out how on earth I turn this off. <laughs> Bye.